we have created this search user function now we are going to perform javascript and ajax in this we are we are going to complete the logic of search user and whenever i search that particular data should be displayed for me okay before that inside index.php we have already written this one okay input field the search box now for this i'm just going to give one id id is equal to search input okay you can give any id i'm just giving here search input whenever i type something inside input field using event okay using key up event i'm going to search the data and i'm going to perform all the necessary actions okay now here i have just given one id search input i'll just come to script.js okay now we have already seen how to write the event function for viewing the data now here i'm just going to write one comment and inside this i'm just going to write here search search data or search user now below this i'm just going to write the same document again document dot on and this time i'm not going to write here click i'm just going to write here key up which means that whenever i type something it is going to take all the events okay if i type one letter it is going to get that one again if i type another letter it is going to take the event of that and it is going to return me the output now next i'm just going to write here function okay using this function now we are going to perform all the necessary actions inside this document now first whatever value i have written inside this input field i have to access that one okay now this entire value whatever i have written i have to access that i have to store inside separate variable so here i'm just going to create one variable let me just write here const i'll just write here const and inside this i'm just going to write here search text search text is equal to using this okay in the same input field i just want to get the value so we just have here value method i'm just writing that one okay whatever value i have entered i'm just accessing that one from inside that input field i'm storing inside search text variable okay now here i'm just checking the condition if my search text let me just write here if my search text if my search text length if it is greater than one if it is greater than one which means that that result is present okay one by one character it is going to search so if it matches only then i have to come inside this if loop and i have to perform all the actions now here i'll just open this if loop and inside this i'm just going to perform the ajax first let me just come on top from here i'm just going to select this entire ajax and here i'll be pasting that one okay if my search text length is greater than one only then i am just performing this data let me just remove this and instead of this i'm just going to give some other values now inside this data first i'm just going to write here search query this search query i'm just going to pass inside the action and inside this this whatever value i'm getting from here i'm just pasting that one here okay the same value whatever i got i'm just going to perform that one and action i'm just going to write here action colon action i'm just going to write here search user okay you can give any variable name here search user any action you can give i'm just writing here search user and let me just close in double quotes now below this i'm just going to write here success and inside this i'm just going to pass this function inside this function i'm just going to pass one parameter here okay let me just write here users inside the search function i am just passing one parameter that is nothing but users now below this i'm just going to write the error if i'm having some error this error should be displayed for me so i'm just writing that one okay error oops something went wrong now in below this let me just close this one and also let me just close this if statement okay this if statement i'm just closing here okay this is my if statement and inside this ajax document okay inside this document i'm having this one okay now once we are done with this i'm just going to come on top now here inside this success i'm just going to create one variable and let me just write here users list users list and inside this okay initially i'm just going to assign it as empty value below this okay let me just write this variable now below this i'm just creating one variable i have just assigned the empty value now if i just search for some result suppose if i am having five data so that data okay that should be executed again and again for five data it should search and that data should be displayed for me so we are just going to wrap this inside one loop so here i'm just going to write here each for each loop and inside this i'm just going to pass this one okay first i'm just going to pass this users okay whatever parameter i have passed here i'm just passing that one suppose inside this if i'm getting some users i'm just passing this inside for each loop and next i'm just going to run the function okay now this function will be having two things first is the index number and second is the user okay whatever user okay you can give any variable name here now inside this function not here 
let me just come outside this now inside this function i just want to run this again and again okay this uses whatever i got here i just want to run again and again and I just have to concatenate with this one suppose first user second user third user I just have to concatenate with this user and I just have to call this get user row function okay whichever we have created here get user row you can see here get user row now this is this function is going to return me this entire table so I'm just calling that function here I'm just calling that function and inside this I'm just going to pass this user okay this user whatever I'm getting here I'm just calling that one I'm just pasting that one here okay don't get confused I'm just going to explain you again okay inside this data I'm just passing this search query and action inside this search query I'm just passing this search text okay whatever text value I'm getting here I'm just storing inside this one I'm just passing that one and action I have just written here search user now inside this success when I'm getting some user whenever I search first I'm just initializing empty value for this users list then using this each loop for each loop I'm just executing this one okay for each users I just want to run this function and inside this whatever value I'm having okay first I'm having empty value empty value plus one. okay now whatever value I get using this get user function get user row function that will be displayed again that value plus again this will be executed again that value plus this will be executed and in the same way the data will be displayed for me now below this this entire thing I just have to display in the table so here I'm just going to write here access and inside this table dot php let me just come to table dot php and for this I have given here user table I'm just going to copy this id and here I'm just going to paste that id inside this user table body i just want to access table body and inside this one i just want to store the entire data dot html and inside this whatever value i am having inside this user list i'm just going to copy this one and here i'm just going to paste okay in this user list all the table all the result will be stored i'm just storing that one inside the user table body okay now once we are done with this we will be having one issue now suppose if i'm having five users the data should be displayed in the form of pagination inside first page only four data should be displayed and inside second page the next fifth data should be displayed below this variable i'm just going to write this if condition and here i'll be writing here users okay if my users are present okay if my users are present only then i'm just going to perform all this action this entire thing i'm just going to copy I'll just cut from here and here inside this I'm just going to paste if I'm having users less than four then I just want to hide the pagination so here I'm just going to come here inside index.php for this pagination I have given the ID as pagination I'm just going to copy this one and here I'm just going to paste that one and this pagination I just have to hide okay I don't want the pagination should be displayed and I just want to hide that one if I have more than four data, then I want to display the pagination. So here, this is my condition where it is ending. Now below this, I'm just going to write here else. And inside this, first I'm just going to call this get. Okay, this entire get users function, I'm just going to call. I'll just paste that one here. First, I'm just going to call all the users. And also, I just want to display the pagination. Okay, if my result is not matching or something like that, then I just want to show the pagination. Okay, I just want to display the pagination. So I'm just writing here. First, I'm calling whatever users I'm having inside the database. Then also, I'm just also displaying that pagination. Okay, if I'm having more than four data, then pagination should be displayed. Okay, this is how we are going to write JavaScript for this. Again, I'll just explain you. Okay, whenever I write something. Okay, now this. Okay, now here, let me just remove this. Now, S I have written. S I have written. A I have written. Okay, this each event will be captured and that will be stored. Okay, I'm just accessing the entire value. I'm storing inside this search text variable. Okay, using this key up, I'm just going to access each event. I'm just accessing the value. I'm storing inside this search text variable. Now here I'm just checking if my search text length. Okay, now here I am writing SA. Okay, now this entire text is not getting matched here. So it will not come inside this if loop at all. Di directly it will come in else condition and all the users and also the pagination will be displayed for me then inside this if it is matches then it is going to come all the url it is going to come now inside this php advanced to we are going to perform the ajax operation then next i'm having this type is equal to get data type is json and inside this data i'm just passing here search query and action inside this search text whatever value i'm getting here i'm just passing inside this one then action i have just written here search user now this action i will be going to perform now this action i will be performing inside ajax.php Okay, now once I'm getting the response, I have just written the success function. 
if I'm getting some result which is less than 4 then I just want to hide the pagination so here I'm just taking the condition and here I have just hidden the pagination now inside this inside this success I'm just creating one variable user list and initially I'm just assigning the empty value now using this for each loop I'm executing again and again okay suppose if I'm having five data then five time it is going to execute and it is going to display the result for me then where I have to display inside the table inside table body I have to display the entire data like how we have displayed entire data okay like how we have fetched and stored entire data inside the table I'm just going to do the same thing okay this get user function we have already created when we were fetching the data from the database okay now we have hidden this pagination now if I am having some error this error will be shown to me then finally I am having this else and inside this okay if I am not having anything okay directly if my text condition okay if my search text length is less than that one then it is going to come inside this else condition it is going to display all the data whatever I am having inside the database and based on the condition given it is going to display the pagination okay this is how we are going to write the event for searching the data now finally I have just passed this action action is equal to user data now inside ajax.php here I'm just going to write one fun uh, inside ajax.php I'll be writing one comment I'll just write here search data now below this I'm just going to perform all that action now here I'll be writing that if my action if it is equal to equal to that particular action whatever I have copied inside this first let me just write one variable here query string and using this get method first let me just check the condition okay if not empty if whatever value I'm having if it is not empty using this get method I'll be writing this get method and inside this whatever query I have passed here okay whatever I have passed here I'm just going to copy this one and inside this I'm just going to paste that one if it is not empty only then I'm just going to perform this one okay I'm just going to trim all the empty spaces if I'm having any empty spaces while searching I'm just going to trim that one and I just I'll just copy the same thing okay if it is not empty I'm just going to trim all the spaces and whatever data whatever text I'm searching I'm just getting that one okay if it is empty okay I'm just going to assign the empty value I don't want to do anything so I am just assigning the empty value here for more specific let me just write in single quotes okay first I'm just taking the condition if it is not empty I'm just going to trim all the things all the space bars or everything I'm just going to trim I'm just passing that one or if it is empty then I'm just assigning the empty value now below this I'm just going to create one variable results and inside this I'm just going to call the function okay whatever search function we have written I'm just going to call that here let me just come to user.php and here we have written this search user I'll copy this one and here I'm just going to call this function and inside this I'm just going to copy this string I'll, I'll just copy this variable and here I'm just going to paste that one okay this is how we are going to call the function and whatever parameter inside search let me just come to user.php here I have passed this search text so I'm just passing this search text inside this one okay now whatever data I'm getting from here I'm just passing that one as a parameter once I pass this once I call this function now this function will be executed here okay whatever I'm having here okay the result will be fetched okay it is going to match the entire string then it is coming to JavaScript then again it will come to javascript it is going to perform all these actions okay and it is going to generate me the result now below this whatever data i am having i'm just going to write here json encode okay i just i just want to convert into i just want to convert into json format so i'm just writing here results then below this i just have to exit this one okay now we have performed all the actions we have written javascript we have written ajax and also we have written the function now let's see the output whether it is working or not now here let me just refresh this and here i'll be writing ramesh you data is getting filtered out and here i'm getting ramesh now here i'm having sita here let me just write here sita i have written only see -E, so two data has been filtered now as soon as i write t here only sita data has been filtered now if i just write here some other data it is not going to match me anything okay now here let me just add one new user Khanam. submit okay now here I am having one Khanam now let me just add one more Ramesh here 
submit okay now here you can see here i'm having this pagination now here i'm just going to search for ramesh okay you can see the pagination has also gone and only two data ramesh data has been displayed for me because while writing this function you can see inside the script.js we have already written that one okay i should hide the pagination okay if i'm having less result i just have to hide the pagination if i'm not having any result then i just have to display the entire data okay this is how we are going to perform this actions first we have just written inside user.php we have created this function search user and inside this ajax.php here we have just called this function inside ajax.php we have called this function and inside script.js we have performed all these actions okay whenever my document okay here i'm having this document key up everything i have written here and this dot value and here i'm just searching for the text if it is greater than one only then i have to perform all this action and inside this ajax.php i have written this action okay whatever i want to do i have just written this one okay this is how even you are going to perform once you write this one you will be able to search the data and whatever data it is getting matched from the database that data will be displayed for you and also inside index.php i have just given this id okay for this input field i have given the id as search input and using that id itself inside javascript inside script.js i'm just accessing that one i'm performing all these actions and inside this action i'm having search user and inside ajax.php i'm just performing that one okay we are done with this search user now finally we are just going to see the last part of this one that is how to display the messages whenever my user is updated how to display that one whenever new user is added how to display that one whenever user is deleted we have already seen that message but we are just going to add some stylings and we are going to perform that one